morning. Welcome back to another session with me, Chini. Today's class is a morning routine, routine to feel more energetic. My body in the morning is a little bit tight. So if I have to do a morning routine or I'm going to a group class and if the, the studio is a fully equipped studio, I will use their barrel to stretch my back, to open my hamstring. But if it's not, then I will just do a roll down and stretch my legs and ankle. So if you are very similar to me, this is perfect for you. So if you need a little bit of more time to open your hip and hamstring before you attack your math class, do that. And also feel free to adapt and do your own little uh, warm up. Maybe you need to move your shoulder joints. Maybe you need to expand your chest more. Maybe you need to warm up your toes and foot on top of a small ball. Anything that you need, you can even use your foam roller, open your chest if you're tight around the chest area and uh, you're a little bit more cathartic and you spend time on, uh, at your desk. Do that, adapt it to your body so that when you're ready to start to doing your math, you feel like, whoa, I'm ready to get a workout, all right? So I'm gonna use a yoga strap to open my hamstring and I'm going to use two small little lightness um, uh, dumbbells to do some opening around my shoulder girdle and shoulder joint and i'm going to do use two small 0 0.5 very light pair of dumbbells i'm going to use i'm going to use a small pair of dumbbell for my shoulders just to oil my shoulders so my neck is free to move as well feel free to give me a like once you've watched this video and also subscribe to my youtube channel Lay down with your pair of dumbbells. Let them rest next to your body. Feet hip distance apart. We're going to do a small little rocking of the pelvis. As you inhale, you curl your pelvis under. As you exhale, you do you give your back a little arch. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And then slowly start to look for your neutral pelvis. Find out what's neutral pelvis for you. Maybe it's a little bit. Breathe in, curl your pelvis, exhale, slight arch of your back. One more breath. And then exhale. You are going to take your small dumbbells now, reach up towards the ceiling, open your chest. Exhale, deep breath in, close your arms, feel your lungs, your ribs expanding, therefore your chest expands, squeeze your abs around your spine as you close your arms, one more time, last breath in, and then exhale, bring your two palms to face each other and arms in line with your shoulders. Circle your arms. Keep your spine on the mat, so meaning don't lift your ribs and let your spine arch. So keep your circle when you can, where you can maintain your ribs from arching or coming out of your spine, therefore taking your spine in an arch. Exhale, we can do five to eight. Last breath, and then change direction, inhale. Feel how the small weight anchors your arms into your shoulders, your shoulders on your spine. One more breath, and then lower your right arm down, lift your left arm up. Same principle with your, uh, the ribs, you're trying to go to the range where your ribs can stay on, your, in your, on top of your spine and not flaring out, taking your spine in a notch. One more time. Exhale, and then we'll do a little bit of helicopter arms, one arms move back as one arms come up. They meet in the middle and then they reverse. <sighs> 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 
Last breath. And then hold the two arms up and then lower your dumbbells down. And you're going to gently nod your chin to your throat, pressing your chin down while your neck is still on the mat. And then pick up your head and shoulders. Deep breath in. Exhale. Last breath. Exhale, head lowers down. Then let's do a little bit of knee sways. Both knees towards your right side. Exhale. So again, at this point, you're not getting technical. You're just easy swaying your legs towards one side and easy sway your legs both on the other side. Just creating movement and warming up your body. Last breath. And exhale, finish on your left side and then bring your leg back to center. If you have a TheraBand, use your TheraBand and then place the strap inside uh, at the top of your, the ball of your foot. Like that, you'll get a little bit more stretch in your Achilles tendon and calves. You keep your left knee bent at this point. Inhale. Exhale out through your mouth. Relax your lower back naturally on the mat. One more breath. And exhale. Push your abs in. Then you lower your strap in the center of your foot. You inhale. And you exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Then you grab your strap, both strap in your right hand, stretch your left leg down, open your leg on the side. So don't go too far. Just remember, it's just opening your muscle so they are ready to fire up when, they, when you start to move with your mat work. Inhale. Then return your leg back center. Grab your strap with your left hand. You're going to feel a light stretch in the outer hip, and that's a good place to be. Your eyes at the center. And then you breathe. And then you exhale. Last breath. And then exhale, come back center. Remove your strap. Place your ankle over your thigh. And then do a little small figure four stretch. You can leave the left foot down on the floor or you can pick up your left leg. When you pick up your left leg, it will push your, your, your foot further and you will resist it with that outer hip stretch. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And then lower your foot down. Bring your left foot in the center. Let's start with the ball of the foot again. With your right knee bent this time. Pull gently on your ball of the foot. Exhale. Then switch to the center of your foot. And then stretch your right leg down on the mat. Take your both strap in your left hand. Open your leg on the side. Just go mild because you're still in your warm-up phase. And then come back center, switch side. Look for that light pull and stretch in your outer hip. And then come back center, remove your strap. You can set it on the side now and place your ankle over your right thigh. Breathe in, exhale, 
then pick up the knee and push it lightly against your ankle and then resist with your outer left hip. And then lower your foot down, shake up your legs. All right, I think we're ready. So I'm going to pick up my legs from the mat today for the 100. If you are still working on, you know, leg more, diagonal, knees bend, legs up, do whatever version is right for you. So as you take a deep inhale, you expand your chest as wide as you can. And as you exhale, And then stretch your arms back, whatever version you, you did, I hope it feels good. Stretch your abdominal in and up. Stretch your calf muscles the same way you did when you were doing the legs hamstring stretch. And lift all your ten toes up towards the ceiling and then raise your arms up. Feel how you were using those heavy weights to plug your shoulders in your spine. And as you inhale, you expand your chest. You nod your chin to your throat, you curl up. And as you exhale, you gently soften your abs back in your spine. And then you allow the weight of the head to stretch your upper spine down. As you inhale, you move your hip joints, which is nice and open now. As you exhale, your head comes back down. Feel that stretch behind your calves, tendon, hamstring, breathe in, chest open. And you exhale, you push your tummy down. And then you inhale, roll your hips and spine. And then exhale, head down. Three more counts, deep breaths in. And as you exhale, the weight of your head, take your thoracic down and stretch, inhale. And exhale down, two more counts, deep breath in. Exhale, deep breath in. Exhale, last breath. And deep breath in. And exhale, arms down by your side. You're going to keep your left leg flexed. You're going to point your right foot, eyes at the ceiling, palms down, inhale. Exhale, raise your legs up, cross over for single leg circle. Just feel the heat of your exhalation. Last breath. Change direction. Breathe, feel the expansion of your chest. Three more counts. And last breath. Knees hug in, deep breath, inhale. Feel the stretch of your glute muscle. Exhale, stretch your leg down. Flex your right foot, point your left toes. Gently press on your arms. Expand your chest in all direction. Exhale, keep your leg up, breathe. Feel the connection of your palms on the mat and the calf stretch like you did in the beginning. Two more counts and continue to feel the heat of your body. Last breath. Change direction. Last breath. 
last breath. Bend your knees to your chest. Press deeply and stretch your glute muscle. And then exhale. Now you take both legs in and you continue to stretch your glute. And feel your lower back muscle expand on the floor as you expand your chest. And as you exhale, bring yourself up to sitting. <sighs> bring your feet close to your body. Grab your ankles. Expand your chest really wide open. And then balance on your sit bones with your legs levitating in. If you lost your belly, reconnect again as you expand your chest and roll back. Inhale. Exhale. Continue to feel the heat of your exhalation. Two more counts. Last breath. Plant your feet down for stomach series. As you take a deep inhale, we're going to start with the left foot. Left hand around your ankle, right hand around your knee, stretch your right leg down. Inhale, expand your chest, feel very tall, open your clavicle, and as you exhale, pull your tummy back, bring your body leg with you, press gently, continue to stretch that glute muscle, levitate the other leg up, and we pull, and one, and two, exhale, and inhale. One more set. Exhale. Finish with your right leg towards your chest. Both legs in again. Open your chest. Exhale. Stretch your glute and breathe in. And exhale. Relax, lower your head down, turn your head towards your left side, turn your head towards your right side, come back center, huge inhale your nose, exhale both legs up towards the ceiling, let's again grab your left leg, you're going to stretch, 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 wherever you can, feel the calves like you start in the beginning, open your chest and pulse, pulse, one, two, switch, switch, and breathe two and exhale for two and inhale for two and exhale for two last one and exhale two both legs up lower your head down once again turn your head to the right turn your head to the left come back center point your toes hands to the back of your head grab the weight of the head take a huge inhalation and then exhale nod your chin to your throat Push your abs deep in your chest and double leg down. And exhale. Last breath. And then rest your knee on your chest and continue to expand your chest on the next breath. And when you exhale, bring your head back in and we'll twist to the left side first. Left shoulder to left knee, left, right shoulder to left, uh, left shoulder to right knee. Inhale, double exhale, double inhale, double exhale, and then knees come to your chest, wiggle your hips down, stretch your arms down behind your head, inhale through your chest, expansion, exhale, Contract your abs, knees to your chest. Exhale, come up to sitting. Stretch your legs out, flex your ankles. Place your hands in front of you. Inhale, grow really, really tall from the crown of the head, from your sit bones up to the crown of the head. And then exhale. Grow tall and then exhale.
smooth and dynamic. Two more counts. And I like this Joe original version because you know you don't have time to overstretch things, you just go with it. Let's go open leg rocker. Grab your ankles and your hands, find the right spot for you. Make sure you can roll forward or back. If you have something either front or back, your body will feel scared and you're gonna start to adjust and roll on one side. It's just, you know, the brain works like that. So as you inhale, you're going to grow your spine from your sit bones all the way up to the crown of the head and stretch your legs up, eyes forward, keep your chest open. Lift your chest as you go, inhale, exhale. Keep the breath flowing. Last one. Let's keep your legs in tweezer and roll your body down. Deep breath in, squeeze your abs, exhale. If you have a dowel in your mat, grab your dowel. If not, just grab, put your arms down by your side, bend your knees towards your chest. We're going to tick-tock, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and then we circle, inhale, go up, exhale, Last round, feel the connection of your arms helping you stay anchored into your body and upper body actually. And then up, and then exhale, knees bend, exhale up to sitting. Stretch your legs, pull your sit bones out of the way. Give your toes a little pull if you need to. Grow nice and tall. Take your arms sideways, breathe open, expand your chest. Twist your back, exhale, breathe in. And if you feel like your body is giving you a little bit more, go for it. Squeeze some more abs under. This is how I'm feeling, my body is feeling today. When I Feel it, I go for it. Last breath. And then finish on the right side. And then come on right up, close your legs together. We'll go swan, chest down. Forehead on the mat, place your hands under your shoulder, press gently on your forehead to keep your neck muscle turned on. And bring up, upper back on, breathe in. And exhale. I'm gonna shorten my swan today. Breathe in. Two more counts. Last breath. And then lower on your tummy, place your hands, fist towards each other, strong back, strong chest, open across your upper back and chest. Single leg kick, one, two, switch, one, two. Continue to counter the kicks with a big chest expansion and upper back strength with a beautiful long neck as you press on your elbows and forearm. Exhale. Two more counts, one, two. 
and exhale. Last set, one, two, and relax and go down, double leg kick. Right ear on the mat, hands at the back of your shoulders there, up on top of your blades if you can, if not, just lower them down a little. And then, oops, sticky mat. Squeeze your legs towards each other, take a huge inhalation. As you exhale, kick three times, one, two, three, inhale. Pick your beautiful, nice torso and upper back, exhale. Feel the lift of your abdominal as you inhale and lift your chest. Exhale, two, three. Last set. And then push back. Stretch on the side. Side leg kicks. Let's lay down on the bicep first. And we'll do a little bit of climbs. Place your left hand in front of you, inhale, open your leg, exhale. Breathe in. Two more counts. Last breath. And then release your leg down, bring it in front of you, stretch your bottom leg, and you're going to lift the bottom leg in. One more count, and then relax. Place your head up. Place your hand in front of your chest. Inhale, front. Exhale, back. Inhale, front. Exhale, back. Last breath. And stay right there. Place your hand in behind your head. And then reverse on your exhale your small circle. You go up towards the ceiling and down. Point. One more. Reverse. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Last one. Flex. And then point. And then lay down on your bicep. Pick your legs. Bring them back a little bit. Not really in line in your spine, but a little bit forward. Inhale both legs up. Exhale down. One last breath, hold, bottom leg down, on top, down, and lift, down, and hold, top leg, one, and down, two, and down, three, last one, and turn on your back, belly for grasshopper. Forehead press down, breathe in. And clap your legs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And rest. Turn on the other side. We start first on the bicep with the knees bent, hand in front. We open and close. Keep your neck in line. Last one. And then you rest, bring your front knee in front, and you lift the bottom. Oof, I feel my hip bones so big down on that mat. And then relax. You're going to bring the top leg on top of each other. And then you bring your head up. You go front. And then hold at the back, hands back, inhale. And then change direction on your exhalation. Bring your top leg on top of the bottom leg, inhale, point. Reverse. Last one. And then rest, and then bring your 
both uh, head down, bring your both legs back, away from your center line, but in front a bit. Inhale. One more count. And then hold both legs up, bottom leg. Three and four. And then top. And rest. All right. Lay down on your back. See how it is. If you take it easy, you don't think of too much. You know, you can convince yourself to work out when you need it instead of being, ah, I'm tired. And then it goes and it snowballs to the whole body is tired all day. Palms face up, chin retract to your throat. Take a couple of breaths before you go. Exhale, squeeze your abs deep. One more inhale. Exhale, push your abs in. And then chin to your throat, inhale, roll up, hold, two, three, exhale, down, deep breath in. And exhale. Last one, deep inhale. And exhale down. Turn on your back, on your knees. Instead of swimming, we'll do superwoman. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Breathe in. Stretch, exhale. Breathe in. Stretch, exhale. Back, breathe in. Exhale. One more. And last one. And then tuck your toes, sit back, stretch back, and we are ready for seal. Place your hands under your, place your hands inside your leg, grab your heels, be in the center of the mat, pick your heels, breathe in, one, two, three, clap, we go, one, two, three, clap, we exhale, two, three. And then lower your feet down. There you go. Now, before I do my child pose, I want to tell you, if you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm alive. Now I'm ready to do some push-ups. I want to do some small weights for my shoulder. It feels like a good day. Feel free to do so. But if you're not, go ahead, go down on your knees, take a child pose for five deep breaths, and maybe that will make you feel a little bit more alive. You know, one of those days our body... Our body doesn't feel the same every day. So one of those days where you feel like, oh, that's about enough for me. Child pose, hop in the shower, off you go. And feel free to share this video around with your friends and family. All right, last exercise, child pose.